on here. I'm going to check 1 through 8 for sure. Um, 9 is going to be a bonus. 10 and 11 are also, you can do it by counting the squares. So I'm not going to stress that as much. 1 through 8, you have to break down the shapes. So on number 1, do you see two shapes you could use to come up with the whole area? Yeah, we have a triangle. All right. We got triangle. I'm going to write that down. Triangle plus... This, okay, so this is our triangle over here. What's this shape over here? Mm, it's not a rhombus. I'll highlight it. Here it is. What was that shape? Anybody see what shape this is? It's a trapezoid. Okay. It's a trapezoid. All right, I'm going to abbreviate. So, do the triangle. You're going to do base times height divided by 2. And Yep, so we're going to do 16 times 30 and then divide by 2. And then to do the trapezoid, you're going to do base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. Base 1 would be the 16 plus base 2, which is the 40, times 30, which is the height, then divided by 2. Okay. Yeah. To do the trapezoid, don't you have to add the bases first together? Okay, so if I add those together, that would give me 56, right? And then I'm going to times it by the 30, and then I'm going to divide by 2. So what is that going to give me? Uh -huh. Yeah, you should get 840. Alright, so we're going to add the 840 to the 240. Yeah, 1080. That is my my air, feet square. Okay. All right. So on three, we're gonna have to break it up. Do you want to break it horizontally or vertically? How would you want to cut it up? Up and down. Okay. So look, draw your little lines right here, because we're gonna cut it there and there. We're gonna break it down. So let's think about this. This square right here is going to be a 54 by 36. Does that make sense? The length and the width, 54 by 36. The middle rectangle, not said square, but the middle rectangle, what would its dimensions be? Um, it would be 27 and 36. 27 and 36? Mm -hmm. 36 is this length, and then the 27 is the horizontal. All right, and then the last rectangle, what would that be? 54 and 18? Yeah. So you're just doing the area of each rectangle. Do you have a pass? Or is it like okay, okay. No, just... So you're going to do the area of each rectangle and then add it up. Yes, 3,888 millimeters squared. All right, now, on five, two shapes, we should be able to separate. Y'all see the square here? So that square has what area? Three by three, so that's nine, right? And then a trapezoid, that's right. The trapezoid has the a formula of V1 plus V2, then times the height, and then divide by two. So three plus six. Yes. All right, three plus six times twenty one and then divide by two. Because twenty one is our height. Oh not twenty one, I'm sorry. I forgot to take away the three. So that was three. Right there. So that is 18. Oh. Times by 18. Yeah, times by 18. I didn't realize the 21 went all the way across. Are we okay on that? Huh? So this is 81? All right, so we got 9 plus 81. So 90 meters squared. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we add the square that we had. All right, and then on number seven, to get the shaded on this one, guys, 
you can shade on this one. You're gonna have to do the triangle. I spelled that wrong. The triangle minus the circle. So the area of the triangle minus the area of the circle. Yesterday. Okay, that's good. So we know the height has to be here, right? Because we need to get that height here, right? Okay. You do see how it's 36, 36, and 36. So if I cut this, I draw this, this is going to be cut in half. So this is 18 right there. Okay. And then I have the hypotenuse is 36. So to get the height of the triangle, you're going to have to use which formula? The diagonal theorem. Or you could, yeah, you could end up doing that too. Because it's the equilateral. And so that means that this would be 60, 60, and that would be 30. Okay. And so now that I have this as being 18, the height would be not 36. The hypotenuse is 36. What would the height be? That's all. Yeah, yeah, 18 root 3. No, that would, the 12 would be the diameter of the circle. We're talking about the height of the whole triangle. So the height is 18 root 3. So I'm going to say the base, we know the base is 36 times the 18 root 3 divided by 2. That's for the triangle. Minus the circle. Circle is pi r squared. So what's the radius of the circle? It's 6, so we have 36 pi, right? Let's find our area of our, what's our area of our, our triangle first? We need 36? Yeah, 324 square root of 3 minus 36 pi. So I can just type that in the calculator to get the approximation answer. Okay. The decimal is going to be 448.1. Yeah. Because we kept the radical 3 from the, the height. So I did the 38 times 18 and then took half of that. I mean the 36 times 18 and took half of that and kept the radical. Okay. All right.